Chaz NZ Construction Health and Safety New Zealand would like to welcome you to the Work Should Not Hurt building program. This program has been developed alongside the building industry to help prevent and manage strains and sprains in the workplace. Its message is simple. Mahi a te mahi, ingare te mamai e. Get your work done, but don't hurt yourself. Most strains and sprains in the construction industry occur in the specialist trades and residential sectors. These are predominantly small businesses, but account for a large proportion of the cost of claims. The WSNH program will initially focus on these areas of need. In 2020, 3,700 builders from the house construction sector lodged a claim for a strain or sprain. This resulted in over 120,000 days off work. Back pain and injuries made up a third of all strains and sprains for builders. Claims for back pain have been steadily increasing in the industry over the years. If you would like to see how strains and sprains and other injuries have affected your sector, go to chasnz.org. The WSNH program is actively working with the building sectors to identify the specific factors that contribute to strains and sprains. As these conditions are caused by many factors, we need to identify not only the physical factors, but those factors of how the work is organised the individual factors of our workers and the psychosocial health of our workforce. This model has been developed by representatives from the New Zealand building industry and has allowed the industry to create its own unique approach to the prevention and management of strains and sprains. Work Should Not Hurt is based on the principles of participatory ergonomics. That means the industry and its workforce have identified the problems and developed the solutions to preventing and managing strains and sprains. The risk of overhead work will also be a focus of the WSNH building program. Overhead work is a known risk factor for many building tasks and a contributor to shoulder problems. Overhead work will be a focus of the program. Ideas and solutions generated from the different sectors, the WSNH program aims to deliver best practice information and guidance to the industry. To access our current resources, go to chasnz.org. More research on the causes and solutions to strains and sprains in New Zealand residential construction is required. WSNH program is currently researching the following questions. What are good ways of preventing or managing strains and sprains in residential building? How can we address strains and sprains at the design and planning stages of work? Is delivering windows to site unglazed an effective way to reduce injuries? If you're interested in contributing to this research or have questions you would like researched, email us at info at chasnz.org. To reach our target audience, WSNH will have a strong presence on social media, so please like us on Facebook. For more information, go to our website, chasnz.org.